So you too, you have a choice to forgive. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is still check your choices. Deuteronomy 13, 19, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Today, we want to look at Joseph and his brothers. Uh, here we see forgiveness and fretfulness. Jacob had 12 sons, and Jacob loved Joseph, and as a result, his brothers envied him. In fact, they eventually sold him to slavery. You know, Joseph, just Jacob had a dysfunctional family. You know, the Lord took Joseph from the pit where his brother kept him uh, when he was sold to Potiphar's house, eventually to the prison, then the palace, and he later became a prime minister in Egypt. As a prime minister, there was great farming all around, and there was food in Egypt, and Joseph was the prime minister. He invited his entire family, including his father, to settle in Egypt. Although his brothers treated him badly, rejected him, thrown him into, he was thrown into the prison, he was sold as a slave, he suffered pain, he still forgave them. He was willing to show kindness. He forgave totally and certainly. He forgave freely and continuously. So when Jacob died, Joseph's brother expected revenge from Joseph. They thought their father's death would open up old wounds in Joseph. So they chose to be fretful. But Joseph chose to forgive completely. In Genesis 50, 15 to 18, when Joseph's brother saw that their father was dead, they said, perhaps Joseph will hate us and may actually repay us for all the evil which we did to him. So they sent messengers to Joseph saying, Behold, your father died. He commanded, saying, Thus you shall say to Joseph, I beg you, please forgive the trespass of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now please forgive the trespass of the servant of the God of your father. And Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brother also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are your servants. And in Genesis 15, 19 to 21, Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring it about as it is this day, to save many people alive. Now therefore do not be afraid. I will provide for you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. You see, Joseph chose to forgive. So you too, you have a choice to forgive or to hold on to offense and be bitter or be fretful. Thank you.